Good morning, good morning. We are going to check out this cheese again. Let's see. We are what day today? We're August. And here they are. As you could tell, one has been eaten. But there it is. How beautiful is this? I just wanted to show you. Um, a few days ago, I came here to check it. And if you wait till it all dries up, you could get a cheese that looks like that. Now, this is the rind part. It is so good. I can't even tell you how good this is. Has a nice cheesy taste. Still a little soft inside. But that's okay. I'm going to cut the other one up. Really nice cheesy flavor. And it just comes to show you that the longer you wait for these cheeses, the better they get. It's just a matter of waiting. So there's that cheese, nice rind to it. I am gonna try and cut it. Okay, here we are. Beautiful, beautiful. Now I'm gonna have some of this this morning. Oh, I'll do it this way. But look at this. There's the inside, there's our cheese, so remember the longer it waits, the better it gets. Still a little creamy on the inside, almost like a brie. This is definitely like a brie cheese. It still has a nice soft spot in the middle. But there you go. I'll make a slice for my daughter. Yeah, it still has a little soft spot in the middle. So this could go maybe another week. Depending again if you're okay with the with the cheese. How okay you are with the cheese. If you like it softer, if you like it a little firmer. But it definitely is a very good cheese. There is that cheese. So, so good. Depends how thin you cut it. Yeah, I would definitely put it another week. But it's almost like a brie on the inside. Nice soft cheese on the inside. And as you let it age, it becomes firmer. But very, very good cheese. See that? Very, very good cheese. So there it is, guys. So now we're in August. I told you it takes at least three weeks before you can have this cheese. Now this year is a mixture of my first cheese... I remember the first video I showed you that I had two cheeses. So I kind of altered those two cheeses and created this one. Um, like I said, this one here didn't firm up as fast as the other one. But it's still edible and still very good to eat. Remember guys, these are all experiments I do. If you want to try the cheese, you go ahead and try it. When I finally make that cheese that I am so satisfied... You see, I might have to alter this on one more time. But when I have that cheese that I'm so satisfied, then I'm going to call that my cheese. But right now, I mean, it's still very, very good to eat. It's still doable. You can still cut it and put it in between your bread. Uh, some of the spots are a little soft still, but still soft, but still you can cut it and eat it. You want the cheese just to be a little firmer. But there you go. Very nice cheese for you to try. And when I get this cheese right, trust me, I am going to let you know. So for now, 
I'm going to call this. Well, maybe I'll do one more update since I have this one still aging. But really, really good cheese. The flavor is fantastic. So I'll see you. I'll see you in a bit. Maybe in a week. If you have already tried it and you like the way it is. Now what I can tell you is if you don't want to wait this long with this cheese, skip the um, the agar and use kappa carrageenan. I know a lot of people don't want to use the kappa. They're not crazy about using kappa. But we use it. I don't find anything wrong with it. Uh, it does firm up the cheese a lot sooner than the agar. Or if you want, uh, like someone says, you can cook your agar first and then add it to your mixture that you're cooking. Uh, you're cooking your cheese. Maybe I'll do that next time. We'll see. Because a lot of people don't want to buy the kappa. So this cheese is going back into the drying board just to get it that much better. But it is good if you want to try it. And it's still very doable. But I want to get that cheese out there for you that I'm going to say, guys, this is it. you got to make this cheese. Yes, go ahead and make this cheese. But I'm still not 100% happy with it. I love the flavor. Uh, I love the look of the cheese inside. But it's taking just a tad too long to dry up on the inside where the first one I made did dry up a lot faster than this one. But otherwise it's very good. So I just have to tweak it just a little bit. But very good if you want to give it a go. Especially when the ingredients are so cheap. Potatoes cost really very little. Uh, if you want to buy some agar, a little package of agar goes a long way. And if you can't find agar, uh, I'll put a link maybe somewhere on my website where you can pick some up for really cheap and uh, give this uh, cheese a try. So for now, I'm going to tell you, I'll see you in a week and we'll see what happens to this cheese. Maybe this will be the cheese. We'll see you in a week how it firms up. So guess what guys, I'll see you soon. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.